Let's go. Hi, Whoopies. Cat Talk has trouble staying alive. He's 25% off on everything. Now, I hope I kept all my stuff. I hope I didn't dick it up by doing a new world. Oh, God. Oh, well. It is what it is. I guess this is a more legitimate challenge than having Woofies get all this crap for him. I don't know when he does all his mime crap. Now obviously when you're starting out you want Flint. If you don't get Flint you're kind of screwed. I guess you get it through the first night on a torch if you had to. But you want flint, sticks, some kind of food. Oh, I bet his stomach's smaller too. No? I guess that would be too. They probably tested that. That was really bad. Pick up all the food you see. There's people that don't do that, but they've probably been playing longer than you have if you're watching this. Don't aggravate the spiders. Wait till you get... You could do it, but it's... I don't know. I'd wait. And I haven't got one piece of flint, have I? Problem with him is going to... Oh, shoot. He goes crazy easier, too. No wonder why Wagazaz wasn't thrilled with him. It's hard to get enough food to do a bedroll all the time. longer than anything else. Uh, carrots pretty much next after them. The berries will spoil the, the fastest. Uh, all I can't think of any food that isn't uh, better for you cooked than it is raw. Pick up all grass, all flint, all sticks. Get enough wood for your first fire. Your first fire is two wood, but it'll take about three to feed it. Always try to make sure you have enough uh, for to make a torch. That's two sticks and two grass, because it'll get you through the night alive if you forget the fire or if for some reason you can't make one. You can arrange your stuff however you want to. I usually arrange mine with flint and sticks and wood next. And that way I always you should always have those four things. Because a stick is a torch, wood and grass is a campfire that will save your life, and sticks and grass is a torch that will save your life. Uh, Wes is quote-unquote hard mode 
so I I get familiar with the game before you even try. Insanity, you don't want to be insane until you've gotten used to the game. And I would recommend leaving spiders alone. You can burn them with a torch, but I'd recommend leaving monsters alone until you uh, get armor and a spear at least. And that's your first science machine. That takes one gold to get. Now you open with a pitchfork. Uh, not a pitchfork, but a uh, axe and a pick. Any stone, that's these things here, might have uh, might have gold in it. As I said. Now that means once he has the logs, which I think he has it. I don't know if he has enough. Does he need stones for that damn thing? Uh, one more stone and he can make it. So he can make it tonight and open some of his science stuff tonight at his campfire, but it'll screw up his sanity. But you kind of see that or make a bedroll to get. Well, you can't make a bedroll without the science machine, so. I'm just going to take a chance and have him uh, build a fire the first night. After it's full dark, you can't place the fire, so the fire has to be in place before it's dark. Once dusk hits that red area, you need to be thinking about what you're going to do that night. And it's not going to let me build this science machine because I waited too late because I was jabbering away. Okay. Cook whatever you're going to eat. Since nighttime is kind of waste time, go ahead and eat at night too. Don't overeat if you're going to use a bedroll. Uh, a bedroll will take half of whatever you're going to, uh, whatever your food is, it'll take half. So if you have 100 food, it'll knock you to 50, so you lose 50 food. But if you have 12, it'll knock you to 7, so you only lose 7. So I wish I had that damn machine. Now there's not much. If you get out in the dark where he can't see, he will die. The Gru will come and get him. It's just an invisible monster that lives in the dark. If you're standing by a campfire at night now, since the insanity update, your sanity will go down at night. Now, it took the stuff for the science machine. That stuff's not lost. It's just inside this now. And so I can place... I, I hate to place it here, but I hate for him not to have a shovel, a bedroll. In fact, he'll be screwed without a bedroll with 75% sanity to start. That's... Uh, that's a heavy burden. You hear me, Wes? You're a heavy burden. Now, why don't you do some mind crap? There we go. Yeah. Do some mind crap on that. Oh. There you go. That looked a lot the same, buddy. Uh... I'm going to make the damn machine because uh, without bed rolls, he's, uh, I don't know. So, what do we got here? We need to open refined rope. Bed rolls are based on that straw roll. I wasn't even looking at what prototype it cost you, probably too much. This thing will show up on your map so you can find it again. Uh, normally you want to wait till you find a, like a source of manure to place it. I didn't look at that one either. Uh, the pitchfork you don't need for anything. It's, it's turf. 
so it's not crucial to surviving. Those three implements are your fire stuff is what you need to start with is up already. This stuff, if he killed those spiders, it'd be worthwhile to open that, the uh, bug net, and catch fireflies and combine them with straw and gold and make a miner's hat. Uh, ice boxes and crop pots are good, but he's uh, nowhere close to that, and it's uh, going to kind of be until he gets an alchemy machine. The alchemy machine is six gold, so he's not even close to that. Uh, boards in stone aren't necessarily going to help us, right? Refined stone aren't going to necessarily help us. Neither is a straw hat, so. But, you know, other people will have different ideas, so it's up to you. All I can say is what I would do. And actually, this is a much truer test than that Wolfie collected all this shit for him anyway. And the second day is just the same gig. If you, you might want to start collecting uh, uh, berry bushes. They only stack to 10. But when you get where you're going, it's a source of food. If you can find manure, you can feed them with rot. But fertilize them with rot, but it doesn't work as good. Uh, you can dig grass and twigs, but you kind of fill up your inventory fast. You can wear one backpack and make another one and carry it in your hand to go from 8 slots to 16. The shovel will automatic, I'm using space bar to pick stuff up with. If you have a shovel equipped, it will automatically dig this stuff. And if you leave it alone where it is, it will replenish itself. Now, in my experience, this area should be beefalo, but in my experience, I don't think I've ever had beefalo at that lo at the first area that looked like it could have beefalo. Flint's one of the most important things at this time, although with the insanity update, so is grass. Log stacked to 20, it's worth carrying 20. You can lick, dig the stump up with your shovel. It's kind of marginal because it wears out your shovel faster, so it's kind of a call whether you want that uh, extra log or the extra wear on your uh, shovel. It's not like a huge issue. Pick up every piece of food you come to. Unless you, if you're surrounded by berry bushes, they're going to spoil if you do that. See, we're running out of food now. I wasn't even watching when I'm jabbering. Everything's better cooked than it is raw. And I can think of durian fruit, which you only get as far as I know from a farm. It's poisonous, it's poisonous cooked, it's poisonous in a crock pot, it's poisonous raw, it's monster fruit. Uh, I shouldn't have eaten all that because I should do a straw roll tonight. Alright, no beefalo here obviously. That brown crap is forest. Usually there's spiders in forests. Uh, we have a bedroll, so that's cool. Now you can wait till almost dark, or you can cut it right too dark, but you don't want to screw that up. So, time is one of the most precious commodities you have, and it doesn't show up anywhere in the game except right there. But the more stuff you get done, the more likely you are to survive. If you want to look around, it's always later in the game to do that. Until you get a base set up and you know you have a regular supply of food, time is your worst enemy. Alright, he's at 66. 
Now his food will go to half. It was 31. Yeah, it went to 15. Like I said, I shouldn't have eaten that much. I should have run him down to about 12. His sanity's full. He's out west. It's not very much to begin with. Now I'll play mind ga mime games later with him. Right now I want to survive. <laughs> 